What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. My name is Klaus, and thank you for tuning in to the third episode of Our Beginner's Guide. As you can tell, I have got Solomon all the way maxed out as Town Hall level 2. I've got 42 minutes left on that barrack, but our gold mines level 4. Uh, which is the max level for our, our level. Also, Elixir Collector's level 4. That's max. The army camp is maxed out, as you can see. And uh, cannons level 3 are maxed out as well. And uh, Archstar level 2 is maxed. So it looks like everything, including these gold and Elixir storages, are going to be maxed as well. And all that we have left is to do the walls, which I have determined is just ridiculous um we <laughs> our maximum storage is seven thousand it's going to cost us twenty five thousand gold to go up one level with these walls so i've decided not to do that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and upgrade our town hall we've got a three hour upgrade we're going to get a new army camp elixir collector gold mine elixir storage gold storage laboratory 25 new walls a new mortar and a couple of new bombs so let's go ahead and do this upgrade we will zoom on through these next uh three hours or so and uh, then I'm going to show you guys what to do and how to develop your base as a town hall level three so guys let's skip on through in time and I will see you guys in a few hours see you soon okay so time has flown on by and now we have our town hall level three as you can see first of all we have full collectors in mind so we definitely need to collect on those here in a minute but um, also, we've got a few notifications on the right side. Um, one of the achievement has been done. We got 34 here. Okay, let's get this achievement. Uh, upgraded Town Hall Level 3. Claim that reward. Five gems. That's what's up. Also, we have a layout editor now, which will help us with our development of our new base later on. And in the shop, 34 new buildings. So let's look at uh, what we get new. We get a new army camp and a new laboratory as... Uh, as we talked about earlier, we've got uh, a new elixir collector and gold mine, and of course a new elixir storage and gold storage. We're going to go ahead and start these now since they're 10 second upgrades. Uh, gold mine up here next, and like I said, 10 second upgrades. And what you want to do anytime you start a new town hall is you want to build all these new buildings because you need to be able to design your new base. And designing your new base is, uh, is key really because you're going to get new walls, you're going to um, obviously you're gonna get new defenses and in this case new storages new collectors new mines I mean all kinds of cool stuff is happening things like the bombs which take zero seconds to build and go ahead and just get those now they're gonna make your base that much more powerful and uh, going back into defenses we're gonna build this mortar and new walls so uh, let's uh, let's see we got an army camp as well so that's a five minute upgrade we can go ahead and start that now and uh, the army camp is good because it, it's gonna increase the capacity of our armies um, going from 30 up to like 50 I think immediately and uh, we can do these new walls too since we got plenty of gold I think to do all 25 new walls and then we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to design a new base and I think we'll go ahead and do this in this video so here we go um, yep okay so cap we have to go to town hall 4 to build more walls uh, we're definitely not gonna rush to do that and we need some more gold if we're gonna do that mortar and we're gonna need some more elixir if we're gonna do that laboratory so let's back up here look at what we've got we do need to do a little bit of attacking so we have more gold so we can start that mortar which is an eight hour upgrade but we need to go ahead and start that so we can include it into our new base so uh, yeah we we need more gold uh, we need 11 1100 more gold so let's go in gold rush against the goblins here they've got four cannons to take out so we'll do two groups um, of, of barbarians first and they'll go on through and then the archers will be released as well so uh, go uh, <laughs> barbarians down there first a bomb is uh, goes off and then we've got a couple of groups of archers that's going to take out these cannons and then hopefully they will all move in one big group to take out the other cannons up there at the top and of course it's the barbarians that will hopefully take up the damage from those cannons and then the archers will uh, will do their job to take out the cannons from afar so we've only got a couple of barbarians left but here in a minute they will be targeted there they're at the bottom left and the uh, top right cannon has been taken out by our archers already bottom left cannon explodes there we go so now all we have left is the town hall and the 2500 remaining gold and 2000 remaining elixir will be ours to use in our new base so um it's going to take a little while. We don't have a lot of troops left, but as you can see, the barbarians are doing their thing. We only have two of them left, and we really, we really didn't. Uh, we got 6,000 gold, 2,000 elixir, but we really had the bare minimum, guys, to take out that base. And um, I would say that 
it was a successful attack. Uh, let's collect real quick. And then we can go ahead and start this new mortar. And um, I'm building it. I'm starting it now so that we can go ahead and include it into the new base. So there we go. There's all of our gold. And uh, eight hours later, we will be able to use that builder for something else. But um, I say now, guys, let's go in. Let's go to the edit editor mode. We're going to remove everything and build a whole new base. And that's what today is all about. We're going to be building this new base, the Town Hall 3 base, with all the available buildings except for the laboratory. But it does not need to be in the middle. So it's not really priority. Uh, so we'll put the gold storages and the uh, Town Hall all together in the middle and then surround them with defenses, including, you know, the cannons, the uh, arch towers, mortars, etc. So both of the storage sets have been put down and our mortar will go in at the top because generally people attack from the bottom so the mortar will have a little bit longer to uh, to do its job there. And we'll put a cannon on each side, one on the left, one on the right and an archer down there at the bottom and then we can surround this center with some walls and really you can't do a really spectacular bases until you get to Town Hall 4 or 5. I would say probably Town Hall 5 is when you can really start building a good base. So you really you just need to surround your uh, your gold and your elixir and your defenses with walls and let's put these bombs down in here too. I mean they uh, attacker could end up anywhere so putting the bombs anywhere is better than nowhere right? And um, also, people will want to take out that mortar as quickly as possible because the mortar does what we call splash damage. It's going to take out barbarians and archers very quickly. So we want to make sure that um, we protect that by putting plenty of filler buildings around it. That way, if anybody is attacking, they've got to go through that first layer and they will be getting shot down at the uh, same time. Notice I replaced that higher level gold mine um, and removed that lower level gold mine because I want the um, stronger buildings to be around the mortar just to protect it and um, army camps are great just for filler you know lots of room we're not going to be able to have enough buildings in order to um, cover the entire place so what I like to do is put these little outset walls that way if anybody's trying to go around our perimeter they've got to go around those walls it's going to take a little bit more time and um, that'll do it for us so there is our town hall 3 base it is not pretty you'll know that Anytime I build anything, it is not going to be pretty, but it will serve the purpose. Now we got 25 seconds left until we can build something else, and uh, that will be that'll be good. Now at this point, what we will start doing is checking out what buildings we can upgrade and how long it's going to take. And generally, my rule of thumb is to upgrade. Of course, you've got to have all the loot we need, so you start with the cheaper stuff first. But um, Really what you start with is the shortest upgrades, you know, what's 15 minutes versus what's 10 hours, you know, like this gold mine's one minute, the new gold mine going to level two, or the new elixir collector going to level two will both be one minute apiece. And now that our army camp is done, we'll go ahead and fill up these barracks, you know, in preparation of the next attack there. So uh, we got, now we have an army composition capacity of 50 instead of just, uh, I think it was 30 before. But anyway, we need to do this gold mine that's going to be a one minute upgrade, and then we will do the uh, level one elixir collector that's right next to it. But uh, go ahead and collect. And once again, guys, what I do at this point is I always just go ahead and upgrade the uh, the quickest upgrades first. This gold mine level one, this uh, elixir collector level one. And uh, right now, what I'm thinking about is going in and attacking the goblins again because we do need more gold we're gonna need more gold to keep up with all of these upgrades we got 30 seconds till this gold mine is done then we will start this elixir collector which is right next to it and also we need to upgrade these that gold storage and that elixir storage in the middle so lots of upgrading to do guys and uh would be a great idea to probably go in and attack but i'm still gonna kind of uh determine that here in a here in a little bit kind of depending on how long things take this uh Army composition will take a while just because we only have two barracks. The barracks are what's training up our units. Here we go. Yes. Okay. Gold mine level two. And we need to do our elixir collector level one to level two as well. It's another one minute upgrade. So as you can tell, guys, I'm looking around. I'm getting all of these. This is a 15 minute upgrade. That bomb and those bombs in the middle are also 15 minute upgrades. We got like this archer tower here. I think that's a 30 minute. This, uh, the uh, level four elixir collectors and gold mines are going to be two hour upgrades. This is a 10 hour upgrade. It's a barrack. So I recommend doing that overnight. But um, anyway, guys, let's um, let's go ahead and skip forward in time 
and um, get to something a little bit more interesting. But the, the, the formula here is simply to upgrade everything that is shorter, shorter in time if you can stay on the game and play. Um, but we're going to go ahead and jump forward in time to a point where I've upgraded everything that's going to take less than two hours a piece. That way we can start getting into the more nitty gritty of the game, you know, looking at clans, looking at gems, looking at all the fun stuff, including attack strategies. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you learned a little bit and uh, we will be back in a very short while. I'm going to start this gold mine, I think believe 700 elixir is totally worth them do your gold mines and your elixir collectors quickly as well as your gold and elixir storages you need those so that you can have plenty of loot and there's your clan castle we're gonna need to do that very soon you gotta find a clan don't have enough gold and we need a builder so <laughs> lots of reasons why we can't do that just yet but anyway guys thank you so much for tuning in like and subscribe if you have not done that already and uh, we will be back in touch with our fourth, fourth episode where we're going to be focusing mostly on gems and how to spend them and what to do with them. And um, it's going to be great, guys. So once again, thanks for tuning in. I love you all. Peace.